Question number 11, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the uh, Minister of Science and Innovation. What decisions, if any, have been made by Callaghan Innovation with regard to overseas contracting by Kiwi Star Optics, and why have those decisions been made? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm advised that Callaghan Innovation has decided not to enter into a proposed subcontract with the Australian Astronomical Observatory for two reasons. Uh, firstly, because the contract involved was for a fixed fee and is considered high risk. And secondly, Callaghan Innovation is itself considering the future options for ownership of Kiwi Star Optics at this time. It's not on their long-term plan to own uh, New Zealand businesses. And I note that IRL itself also quit a uh, number of companies. Callaghan's plan is to work with all Kiwi firms and help accelerate the commercialisation of innovation of those firms. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Does he agree with that decision of Callaghan Innovation to veto a contract worth $2.4 million to produce high-tech lenses for the Australian Astronomical Observatory with the resulting loss of two $1.8 million contracts with Caltech and Berkeley? Honourable Stephen Joyce. I think, Mr Speaker, the member is uh, well ahead of himself there. Firstly, two things. One, I don't think it's right for politicians to be offering opinions on what any organisation, crown entity or company does in terms of contracts, in terms of whether they should enter into a contract. They have to be in the position to judge the risk as to whether they should proceed. That's why those entities exist. But in relation to this one, my understanding is that discussions are ongoing with the Australian Astronomical Observatory, uh, and so there are a number of things that could yet transpire, and I don't think we're in a position to, to, say, the, to say what the member has said about the uh, effects on the other contracts. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Honourable Trevor Mallow. Does he regard the manufacturing of multi-million dollar telescope lenses as a type of work that should be abandoned to be done in Australia with the staff transferring the scientific knowledge transferring and the context transferring as is now being proposed. Honourable well, Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, again I think uh, Mr Mallard is putting a particular perspective on it. The reality is uh, that Callaghan Innovation is looking at any number of possibilities for the future of Kiwi Star Optics. It is actually at this point. And in terms, no, they are in the country. And in terms of what you talk about in terms of lucrative high value work, in this particular instance, it's a very high risk fixed price contract, which may not be in the best interest, and indeed that's what Callaghan Innovation has determined is in the best interest for them to enter into. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Dr Megan Woods. Thank you. Does the Minister consider Callaghan Innovation's decision to not sign the $2.4 million contract between the AAO and KiwiStar Optics to be consistent with his view that Callaghan Innovation is to become the high-tech HQ for New Zealand businesses? It will assist firms across New Zealand to turn their ideas into exportable products and services more quickly, providing jobs and growth for New Zealanders. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, I thank the member for that advertisement. Um, I do consider that it is consistent with Callaghan Innovation's uh, mandate, which is to be a high-tech HQ for Kiwi businesses. That doesn't mean it should own all those businesses. It means that it should work with New Zealand businesses up and down the country, and that's what they're designed to do. Question. Supplementary question, Dr Megan Woods. Does the Minister agree with former Kiwi Star optical scientist Andrew Rakic, who is currently working for the European Southern Observatory, that if Kiwi Star Optics no longer fits with the mission of Callaghan Innovation, then Callaghan Innovation should divest itself of Kiwi Star in a way which ensure it's, ensures its ability to continue to succeed as a standalone business entity rather than the ad hoc and rushed cancellation of the contract as has occurred? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, the member raises some fair questions in that regard. I'll make three points in response. I understand the gentleman concerned actually does have a relationship with this organisation uh, still, so that may, well, and, also, and also some sort of, some sort of financial uh, relationship with the organisation, so that may have an impact on his views. A second, the second point in relation to that is it is absolutely appropriate, as I've made uh, to Callaghan Innovation all the way through, that if they are considering change, they do their absolute best to, as he suggests, 
uh, put them into private ownership or perhaps in a couple of cases attached to universities and so on, and they are exploring all those options. Order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Dr. Megan I, Wood. I seek leave to table a letter from Dr. Andrew Rakic to Mary Quinn of Callaghan Innovation, where he states, in his opinion, that KiwiStar Optics has the potential to compete on the global market with, with global companies and the combination of expertise built up over seven Le decades. Leave a sort to table that particular <laughs> document. Is there any objection? There is objection. Was there? There was objection. Supplementary question. A supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. What action is the Minister prepared to take to ensure that the scientists and technicians currently employed uh, and linking with organisations in India, Australia, uh, two in the United States and Europe do not transfer to Australia? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, I won't be stopping at the border if that's the member's suggestion. I've made it clear, as I said in the answer to a previous question, to the border management, that they should do everything in their best, and they will do, to ensure any change actually does its absolute best to retain the expertise in this country. But as the member's uh, colleague noted herself, the reality is that actually this is an international discipline. The gentleman who's raised the issue, who has a financial interest in the outcome of these contracts, who does... Well, it's important we, actually, it's important we note these things. The gentleman who's raised this issue is himself working in Amsterdam right now on a contract over there. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think members have been cautioned about making what are effectively defamatory statements about people. I want to make it clear that the person who raised the matter with me does not live in Amsterdam. Oh, OK. Well, the members made that point through a point of order. Not sure that it was a valid point of order, but the point has been made. Question number 12, Chris Ockenbaugh. Mr Speaker, kia rana, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Labour and asks, what recent...